how do you know how far along your Notion project is? Well, the Notion progress bar, obviously. But the odds are you do not want to watch another 20 minute video and get into the weeds about how to do this. So check this out. All you need to do is create a new property and go for roll up and we're going to select the tasks that we're going to be looking up. We're going to look up the status of the task and go for percentage complete. This is how we know the percentage of the task completed. Let's call it percent done, percent done. And the next thing you want to do is you want to add a formula. Let's edit the formula, paste the one from the description below in the comments and boom, there you have it. No need to watch another 20 minute video. Now check this out. So this project has only two tasks inside it. And then when you check off a task and mark it as done, the progress bar is going to get updated automatically. So if you have three tasks or four tasks, and as you have more tasks, the percentage of tasks that are completed is going to obviously change. Right now, it's one fourth of the task is completed. You can check off another task, boom, 50%, another task, 75. So in the second part of the video, I'm going to unpack and explain what has just happened. So the first thing you need is the projects database and the task database. A project is usually a bigger bucket of work. Ideally, it's finite and it consists of smaller tasks. As you check off the task, the project comes closer to the finish line. The good news is that you can duplicate our pre-built one in the description below. So here inside the project, we already have tasks linked up. Let's click on edit property to see what's inside. The type of the property is relation. It points to our task database and uh, that's pretty much it. Then we have a roll up property. What it does, it looks up information from a related database. In our case, it looks up tasks and it looks up a specific property, their completion status. And then it needs to figure out what information to output. So we're going to calculate the percentage in the group that's done. And the reason I'm seeing this specific option, such as percent per group, and then I can pick complete is because I'm using the status property. So if you're using the old school database that use the select field for different statuses, then it's not going to work. Right now it's a lot easier, percent complete. And you're already halfway there. You know the percentage of tasks that are completed. And now all you need to do is just visualize that percentage so it doesn't show as a number, but it shows as a progress bar. Very easy to do using a formula. So here's the formula that we've added previously. We can call it progress bar. And then let's click on edit. And here you can see the formula itself. Confused? Well, me too. Notion formulas, but let me show you how to interpret it better. Here I copied the formula into code editor and here is what it does. The formula starts with the if statement. It essentially says that if less than 10% of the project is complete, then show this formula. Otherwise use the following formula. We're going to be using this 10 boxes and we're going to slice those into 10 different pieces, each representing 10% of the project. And then this part says how many tens there are. For example, if there are 69%, for example, will be 0.69, then it's going to slice it seven times. So we have seven fill squares, three unfilled squares. Now we're adding just a space. Then over here, we format the percentage instead of 0.69, we're going to see 69 as a whole number because we multiply it by 100 and then we add the percent sign. That's what the formula does. So Notion progress bar ain't rocket science. Up next, check out the Notion automation hub. It has a bunch of cool pre-built databases, automations to save you time in Notion and resources. It's completely free and you can duplicate it by going to the link in the description below. Up next, check out this video to see what's inside.